friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty, and we are going to continue to work on our Yorkie and Roses today. I think we're going to hop up to her little ears and get those done, and then all we'll have left are the roses and the leaves. So let's get started. I think we'll start with, it looks like a little hourglass type figure, so we'll get started with that color. And that's number 19, 841. And let me grab my pen and my boat. We'll put our wax on our boat, I mean on our pen. Sorry, I'll put the beads in the boat. There we go. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great because I have a chance to visit with my friends. And that means the world to me. All right, friends, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Give this a little shake here. And we're doing the little hourglass shape. There we go. Oh, left a little wax there, there you go. So I'm doing great today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It is Labor Day here in the United States. A lot of folks, including myself and my husband, have off today. So an extra day to relax. That's always a plus. And we are moving right along. I hope you had a chance to watch my extended video the other day of finishing up her eyes and that portion of her face right there. It came out so pretty. And maybe, just maybe, not maybe, we're going to do it, my friends. I was going to say, maybe we can get both ears done, and we will. We're going to get both ears done today. It might be a little longer of a video again, like the other one, but at this point in the painting, when I see it get so close to completion and I see things coming together so nicely it really gets me excited to work more on it and I am the type of personality there's probably some kind of a name for it but if I see something that uh, like two ears I want to get them both done like the eyes I wanted to get both eyes done and that's why I did that whole portion the other day and so, I don't know what it is about me, but that's, that's just the way I think. If I'm going to do one, I want to do them both. And let me grab a piece of release paper. I don't know if I have any around here or not. Probably not. Do I have any up in here? Yes, I do. Ha ha. Let me grab a little bit of release paper so I can go ahead and put my hand down while I'm placing drills. There we go. That makes it so much easier, friends. And let's see here. There we go. So what are you up to today on this Labor Day? Are you going to barbecue? It's the unofficial ending of summer. And friends, I am not sad about that. I have had enough of this summer weather. I am ready for the burr months, October, September, October, November, December. I'm ready for it. My favorite time of year, autumn and winter. I know that's not a very popular, that's not a very popular feeling. I'm done with the heat and humidity. Let's see, that's dangerously close to being out of focus uh, or out of a shot. Sorry, friends. There we go. And continuing onward. There. So, I hope you caught our 
cooking video yesterday, my husband and I. That's why I say our cooking video. Uh, I posted it today. We made it yesterday. And we made three dishes for our little indoor barbecue. It's been so hot lately, we don't even want to barbecue outside. So we just had our little own indoor barbecue with all our barbecue favorite barbecue foods. We had hot dogs with the Texas Wiener sauce, the two ingredient Texas Wiener sauce, and our homemade macaroni salads, and my homemade baked beans, and we had some corn on the cob as well. So it was so much fun. My husband and I had a blast making that video. So we hope you watched it and enjoyed it. I've had some folks comment on uh, different ways that they make their baked beans, which I love. I'm going to try a couple, as a matter of fact. One person said that uh, they like to put ground beef in their baked beans, which I've not, I've not had. I've heard of it, but I've not had it. As a matter of fact, my friend that used to make that used to call them cowboy beans. And she used to add other things to them as well. So we'll move over to this ear now. There we go. And, and then um, I've had some really great comments. Thank you so much for your lovely comments on that video. Again, it was a blast to do. We will do other cooking videos for sure. I thank my husband Todd very much for his help. He was a huge help. He was the hands preparing everything, except for the baked beans. I did the baked beans, but uh, I pretty much filmed. I was behind the camera for everything else. He did all the heavy lifting as far as that goes. And he did amazing. You heard him a couple of times. He's not one to be on camera or he, he doesn't like to even have his voice on camera, but he answered a couple of times when I asked him a quick question. So we appreciate that. He's a good egg for helping out. There we go. And Spoto was so good yesterday, the whole time we were filming. So it was just, it was a lot of fun and the food was delicious. We have leftovers that we're going to enjoy throughout the week. Lunches, you know, we'll have some of the salads at dinner time and some beans. I, I've mentioned this before, but I love cold bean sandwiches. Get a couple slices of nice white bread, a scoop of homemade baked beans, a little squirt of ketchup. Yummo. Love it. I know you're probably cringing, but don't knock it till you try it. It's a lot. It's delicious. If you like cold beans, cold bean sandwich is the way to go. It is the way to go. But anyway, yes, I thank you for tuning in. If you've watched it, if you've not, please tune in. It's a one of my favorite videos. I love to cook. And uh, I'm no professional. I'm not a chef. I'm just a cook. But I had a lot of fun. And you'll see more videos, cooking videos, coming up in the future. There's some recipes that... Todd and I want to uh, prepare. Some are actually diabetic friendly. My husband is um, pre-diabetic. So we do watch what we prepare. Now we could have made that macaroni salad 
completely diabetic friendly with switching out the pasta for a whole grain pasta. But I'll be honest with you, I'm not, I do like the whole grain pasta. I enjoy it a great deal, but when it's with, when it's hot with the sauce on it, um, whole grain pasta, I'm not a big fan when it's cold. It's a little tough. It's a little tough when it's warm and it gets even tougher when it's cool. So, but we don't have macaroni salad a lot. So when he does have it, it's not, you know, it's not earth shattering. There we go. There. Okay. It looks like we're all done with this particular color. Yes. So we will retire that color. You know, when I retire a color, that just means that it's no longer needed for this particular painting. And of course, as I put these rolls back into their container, thank you for your service to this beautiful painting. And we move onward. So next we're going to do the little lollipop sign. And that is number 3782. So we'll pour 3782, which is number 32, in this particular painting. And we'll pop our stopper in just to make sure no drills fall out. Oh my stars, give it a little shimmy shake. I almost lost some. Oh my goodness gracious. And let's get started. All right, how is the weather where you are today? Speaking of seasons and such, it's uh, been quite warm here. We've had, we had a couple of days last week where it cooled down a little bit. It was beautiful. Gave my husband a chance to mow the yard. which was nice. And now the hot weather is settling in again for uh, some of the this week. Um, it will start to cool down a little bit. We're gonna have some rain come through middle of the week. So hopefully that'll bring some cooler temperatures. But uh, other than that, how's the weather where you are? What are you working on today? Of course, I'm working on this little lady right here. And I have my We Are Sun, another DAC that was given to me as a gift as well. I'm working on that. And then, of course, I have my stickers and I have my stained glass tulips. So... And then I have my classic kitty collection that I just started. So I'm working on her as well. Kitty with a pearl earring. So. I finished two projects. And started one. I have a kidding down video of my pink lion and my cardinal. So I'll be, I film that, I'll be putting that up. Oh, and my color that I just retired isn't so much retired as of yet. I missed one. And that's okay, we'll get to it. I promise. Matter of fact, while we're thinking of it and while we're still here, let me grab that color. That's number 19. There we go. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about it. 
All right, moving on to the other ear. And it's that sideways lollipop or the lollipop that's pointing in a diagonal direction. Here we go. Sorry, I'm just concentrating. I get in the zone sometimes. I have another Timu order that will be coming in probably sometime this week. I do have a Timu haul that will be that video you'll be will be available tomorrow for viewing. I have that scheduled. And that one I have I think eight diamond paintings. That was a big diamond painting haul for me. And uh I think just that and a package of nails. I think that was the only non-related diamond painting item that I got for that particular haul. Now the next one that I'm getting ready to get delivered to me will have a couple of different bits and bobs and I think a couple diamond paintings. I'm not sure how many. Let me just fix these up here. They're looking a little haggard. There we go. That looks much better. Much better. Perfect. All right. So we're done with that particular color. We can retire that. Thank you for your service. It's a nice khaki tan. And then we'll move on to the next color, which is that little, that little dot that looks like it's hitting a wall. That is number 27, which is 30, 33, 3033. We're going to have quite a few of these left. Holy cow. It's a nice cream color. So, really there's not much else going on. Just uh, having a great extended weekend. is always nice. So there we go. Continuing on. We are almost done with this ear, friends. Wow. We are coming close to being done with this picture altogether, my friends. We'll probably finish it maybe this week, most likely. I don't see why not. Which is very, very exciting. Sorry, I've probably been off of 
out of frame. But we're done with that ear. So I'll get back into frame because we're going to work on this ear. All right. And probably going to go just to a half hour, maybe a little less today. And of course, be on the lookout not only for that Timu haul dropping tomorrow, but also Wednesday for another installment of our Snow White and the Seven Dwarves stickers. That sticker is going to be Grumpy, which he is my alter ego. I pride myself on being a crusty old lady. <laughs> done with this one friends almost done with her little ears all the better to hear us with she'll hear all of our little compliments how cute she is how pretty she is and you know we all like to hear compliments every so often I absolutely love to give compliments at the most random time I'll stand online waiting at a in a grocery store and I'll just happen to compliment the lady in front of me oh I love your hair I love your nails or that's such a pretty blouse and sometimes it just totally throws them off guard <laughs> oh, thank you they'll say thank you I love that the unexpected compliment all right friends so that retires this color. My stars. We are getting closer and closer. We're almost done with her ears. Like I said, we're going to get to about a half hour mark, maybe a little less, but only by a few minutes. And the last color is that little corner with a little period in it, a little dot. And that happens to be number, 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 I know you're here. There it is, number 16, which is 644. Oh, this khaki color has just a tinge of green in it, just a tinge. I know you probably won't see that, but to me that's what it's got. Okay, there we go. Then we'll fill this part in. We're almost done with her ears, friends. And then all of the puppy dog will be done and we just have the flowers and the leaves. My goodness. certainly has been a treat to do for sure we only have about eight more to go on this ear six now and now four and then the last two friends there we go we have a completed puppy dog and now all we have to do is her roses and her leaves let me put this color away there we go there wow she's coming along beautiful i can't believe it we're almost done with her Goodness gracious. So, oh, had a drill pop out, but that's okay. We can put her back. So that will be it for today, my friends. And there we go. 
And so I want to thank you all for stopping by. Let me go ahead and there we go. Bring it out. And let's see if we can push her back a little bit. There we go. You can see a bit more of her now. So friends, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a current subscriber, thanks for your continued support. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Friends, hit that bell notification. You'll be notified each time that I upload a video. And go ahead and give me that thumbs up. Hit that like button. That helps the algorithm here in YouTube quite a bit. And leave me a comment. Let me know where you're from, what whip, which is a work in progress, what whip you're working on, and tell me what's for dinner tonight. I have no idea. I think we're having hamburgers tonight with some roasted potatoes. Yeah, that's yummy. And of course, some, uh, some salads and baked beans. And until I see you again, my friends, please take care of yourselves. Watch out for your friends, your family, your loved ones, your neighbors. And please, friends, be the voice for those animals as they don't have one. So I want to thank you all again. And from my heart to you, take care. Goodbye now.